Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'll be showing you how to replace the fuel filter in CVR 250R. So let's get started. Fuel filter will be placed below the fuel tank in almost all the vehicles. So to access the fuel filter, first you need to remove the body panel and then you need to remove the seats. Now we shall free the fuel tank by removing this 12 size hex bolt and two other small 10 size hex bolts behind the tank. Because of very little fastness used in CBR, it makes a mechanic friendly vehicle. As you can see now, after removing the three bolts, the fuel tank is free. Now that the tank is free, don't pull the tank as there are still pipes and wiring connected to it. There are two specific pipes which you have to remove first before removing the tank. One is the small pipe which is placed at the rider's right which does the job of removing the excess pressure in the fuel tank created by the fuel vapors. And the other one is placed on the opposite side which is nothing but a drain pipe coming from the fuel cap. There is also this quick snap clip attached to the wire which is connecting the fuel pump. You have to remove this too. Once you remove all these connections, the fuel tank can be slightly lifted up and the fuel pipe which is connecting the fuel injector can be removed. But first make sure you take off these rubber sheets. The fuel line connecting the fuel injector is quite tricky to be removed. Place a T-spanner as in the video so that it will be easy to access the fuel line. This is how the fuel connector looks when it is removed. Here is a picture representation of the fuel connector. The part marked in number 1 is the first thing you need to remove. It's nothing but a closed rubber loop. When you pull that, it should look something like in the last image. It should be free from the connector. Once that rubber loop is away from the connector, you can just press the part number 2 which is at the tip of the connector and easily pull the whole connector back which comes with the fuel line. Once the fuel injector fuel line is disconnected, you can take the tank and keep it in a safe place. You can see that I have already removed the old filter and I am about to place the new filter. Removing the fuel filter is nothing but pulling out the two sides of the fuel filter, that's it. I retained this rubber holder which was attached to the old fuel filter. This is very much necessary to keep the fuel filter in the place. This is my new fuel filter which I bought it from the Honda showroom and it's genuine. As you can see there is a mark indicating the direction of the flow of the fuel. So make sure that it's correctly positioned in your fuel tank. If you buy the fuel filter from the Honda showroom it comes with the hoses and the hose clamps so you don't need to buy it extra. Attach the longer hose to the fuel exit part of the fuel filter. This is how you need to connect the fuel filter to the fuel pump. I forgot to mention one thing that you need to reduce the fuel pressure in the fuel line before removing the fuel filter. You can relieve the fuel pressure by disconnecting the wires attached to the fuel pump so that the fuel pump will be cut off and then switching on the engine. Once the fuel filter is in place, you can take the fuel tank and place it on the bike. Once the fuel tank is placed perfectly on the motorcycle, start assembling by connecting the fuel line. Connecting the fuel line to the fuel injector is very simple. You need to place the connector at the tip of the fuel injector and just give it a thorough push. The fuel line connector clamps to the fuel injector with a slight click noise made by it. Just for the better weaving angle, I just removed the wiring of the fuel injector. Assemble the circular rubber loop in such a way that even though the fuel line connector is pressed, it should not come out.
once the fuel line is connected you can go ahead and connect the fuel pump wiring by connecting the 4 pin connector and then with the fuel line and uh, fuel pump wiring connected you can go ahead and start your bike and check for any leaks give it a raw inspection and then when it's ok you can just uh, assemble back all the uh, remote parts you can go through my video and then start assembling I kept my motorcycle in neutral and running so that if there is any leak during the assembly process I can just sort it out immediately. As we have already disassembled the motorcycle, assembling it, it should not be hard for us. So all you need to know is that there is a 3 hex bolt, one is 12 size big hex bolt in the front of the fuel tank and two near the rider's seat that is 10 size hex bolt and then you can go ahead and assemble the seats front panel and side covers I forgot to mention that there is a small uh, hook kind of thing which keeps the fuel line so make sure the fuel line goes through that hook so that's it for this fuel filter replacement video guys hope you learned something and I also have some interesting news to share I'm currently restoring a 1970s Vespa 150 so you can watch my updates in my Instagram I will definitely do a restoration video for it pretty soon. So until then, take care and keep supporting, like, share and subscribe and thank you and cheers.